Welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom. And today we're going to talk about the null and particular solutions to a differential equation. So let's begin. The, so far what we've done is we've solved the, this problem. We've solved the problem of y prime equals a times y. And now what I haven't been writing is, is there's another function out there, some f, fun, some function of time. And what we've been doing is so far we've been assuming that f, some function of time, is equal to 0. That, that function is equal to 0. Now, when we have that, let's rewrite this equation by setting it equal to 0. So when we say, look at this as y prime equal, oops, I'm sorry, y prime minus a y equals 0, this is called the homogeneous, homogeneous or null equation. Now, this is maybe the first time that you've seen it officially called a homogeneous or a null solution. Um, but you've actually, this, this actually occurs more than we, you might be uh, initially think. For example, in linear algebra, linear algebra, you solve this problem. A, some matrix, times some vector x equals the zero vector. And this is also called the homogeneous or null, or null equation. And you find your solution. Your solution is called x n. It's those x's which make that problem true. And you've probably solved a problem like this. Um, ax, a quadratic equation, or ax squared plus bx plus c. And the only way to solve that using the quadratic formula is when that equals 0. So dealing with a 0 on one side of the equation is actually quite common. Now we're just using some formal language. Now, what does it mean to be a solution? So, um, if if this is a so let's do this. Let y null be this the null solution. Our textbook uses y sub n for the null solution. Other differential equations book, you'll see y sub h for the homogeneous equation. They mean the same. And honestly, a subscript of a lowercase h or the subscript of a lowercase n pretty much look about the same. So let y n be the null solution. Then what does that mean? That means that if you take y null prime minus a times y null, well that, that is going to give you zero. That's what it means. That's what it means to be a null solution. Now, we've already seen this without really thinking about it, but one of the solutions we found is this. Uh, we, we, we found y null as e to the a t. Well, let's check that. Let's check our solution. So if we check, check our solution. Well, how do we do that? Well, notice this. So if we have y equals e to the a t, then, so then, or and, either is fine. And now if I take the derivative, this is y null, the derivative of y null, that's a, e to the a t. Well, now let's substitute them into the original differential equation. So if I plug these in, I have a e to the a t minus a times y null. Well, y null is e to the a t. And you can see right off that those are just like terms. And they're opposites, so those cancel any good. Zero. OK. Here's the next piece. Uh, y null can be scaled, can be scaled. What does that mean? So that means that a solution, 
that there's a family of this means a family a family of solutions of solutions and we'll call them so why our, our general solution why we could oh it's will just write this way so our solutions are some constant C it's usually a capital C that's used in this case and we'll even work with that a bit more C times Y null so now show that this is a solution how do we know that if I multiply the null solution by a number that it's still a solution well let's see so I'm gonna call this uh, this solution we'll just call this our solution um, I'm going to call it C, and we're going to use that more here in a bit. C is going to stand for a complete solution. Well, this isn't our complete solution, so we'll just call it YS for a solution. Well, notice this. If I take the derivative of YS, well, then that's going to be C. Remember, the scalar doesn't affect the differentiation times Y null prime. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to substitute these values into the original equation of Y prime minus a y equals zero. Well, y prime, y prime is c y prime n, so c y prime n minus a times c y null. Well, look at what this says. If I factor out a c, I have c times y null prime minus a y null. But look at this, look at what we just said. If this is a, this, this piece right here, if that's the null solution, well, it is the null solution. Well, then what does that mean? That means it equals zero. So this is just C times zero. In other words, this is zero. So scaling the null solution is also a solution. Okay, that's the first half of what we needed, the null solution. Now let's add one more piece of that, the particular solution. So I'm going to get, go on to the here. Now the particular, see, let, let y sub p be the particular solution. A particular solution. And here's the key part, and this arises or actually what this is, I should be even more clear. This, this is, and Y particular arises, arises when F, that input function, when F is not zero. Okay, so if that's a solution, then this means, what this means is this means that y particular prime minus a times y particular equals whatever f is. Okay, that's what that means. So that's a true, so this is a true statement right here, true statement. Now, here's where this gets interesting. We're going to call the complete solution, the complete the complete solution is yc and it equals y particular oops yeah, I'm gonna write it this way sorry be more consistent it's usually the null solution well it's c some family of null solutions plus our particular solution so all I did now is I added those two together this is called the principle of superposition superposition which says that you can add the null and the particular solutions let's see if in fact that is really a solution so we're going to check check that y c is a solution Well, how are we going to do that? Um, what we do is we say, all right, well, let's take y complete, and we need to take its derivative. Well, that's going to be a constant times the y null prime plus the y particular prime. 
Now what we do is we substitute, substitute into our original equation, our initial, our original equation. Well, that's this one right up above. That's this one right up here. Y prime, uh, oops, not there. I'll rewrite it. I'll rewrite it. Our original equation is y minus ay equals f. Now, now let's put in yc. So yc minus a y, we have to show that that is equal to f. Okay, yc, well, oops, yc prime, goodness. Okay, there we go. So yc prime, well, this is going to be c times, I'll put parentheses, times y null prime plus y particular prime minus a times y complete, y complete is c, y n, plus y particular, and I'm just, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm referencing this work over here on the left. These are these two pieces, we're just substituting them in. Okay, now what does this equal? I'm gonna regroup this, I'm gonna regroup this as by null and by particular solutions as c, y null prime minus a c y null plus y particular prime minus a times y particular. Oh, but look at what we've just discovered. This is where we started because this first piece right here, well, that's just the solution, that's the null equation. Let me go back and I'll show you where that was. That was, that was right here. We said that, that whoops, we said Right here, this is where we said that that is the solution. It's just zero, okay? So let's go back. Let's turn that off. Let's go back over here. Well, this is just zero. Plus, plus, well, what is y prime minus, or y particular prime minus a y particular? Well, that comes from right over here because y particular is the particular solution. So this piece just equals the function f. 0 plus f, this is f. And that is the complete solution to a first order linear differential equation. And we write this, that y prime minus ay equals f has the, com the complete solution. of yc equals, and sometimes the constant is written on the y null, sometimes it's not. I'll write it this time, y null plus y particular. And that is the null and particular solutions to a differential equation. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.